All right, this is Chris from MyCricketForum.com. This was just going to be an intro video, but this device was so easy to flash that it wound up being the whole entire flashing uh, video. Um, we're going to post a full thread about this in MyCricketForum.com. Be sure to come by, become a member, ask your questions in there. We'll try to uh, address them. Uh, real quick, this is the uh, MiFi uh, 2200 from Verizon. Uh, as you can see here, I'm plugging it in. It's detecting uh, some drivers automatically. And VZ Access Manager wants to install, or the version that is on the MiFi wants to install. Go into Device Manager so you can see what's going on in here. Be sure if you guys stop by the forum. If you can't become a uh, supporting member, uh, click on some of the banners if they have uh, some relevant stuff you might want to see that helps uh, keep us alive. Really, I should be working right now, but uh, I just couldn't help to uh, flash this device. I found it on Craigslist. Uh, I've just been flashing a bunch of them, and every new model that I see, you know, provides a new challenge since it's uh, activated as a mass storage device either that it might have some uh, memory on it I'm not really sure I guess I could look that up while uh, the drivers are installing here all my videos I, I record without audio and then I come back and uh, do a little voiceover Now what we're doing here is actually putting this on an Android plan and on that Android plan is another device already. We've had uh, pretty good luck with them uh, sharing internet at the same time. Sometimes I believe one device cuts out. And basically what we're doing is not paying an additional bill and getting a hotspot or data card to work. So once you get the you pay for the device, you flash it, you won't be paying a monthly bill for it. But it probably will require the Android plan. Now these are the drivers uh, which will be required to actually modify the device's settings in QPST. I don't know if I said this is the MiFi 2200 originally on Verizon. All those devices coming up to belong to the uh, MiFi. And that's the actual port that we're going to be connecting to in QPST. Uh, this device is uh, GPS enabled. 30 foot range of uh, network coverage, built in security. It says it lasts up to four hours on a single charge. I'm adding the port because it's not already on there. Reading from the phone, all Verizon devices uh, have an SPC code of 000000. zero, 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 zero.
here I take a little while because I'm putting in all my girlfriend's uh, data plan and I have to figure out her number. It's in my phone. I don't know it by memory. <laughs> Eight hundred two dot eleven B G. Uh, standby up to forty hours. So I'm putting the PRL in here. Moving through the tabs. Putting the phone number at mycricketforum.com, zeroing those out. Probably not necessary to zero those out, but I do it anyways. Cricket in those. That's pretty much it. I changed the phone number. Not sure if it's really required. It will probably still authenticate if I hadn't. Mainly it's important to change the data profile. The device rebooted itself, came back up, I reread it, looked like everything was stuck. So I went over to VZ Access Manager. Trying to detect the new device. I think the problem that comes up here is that QPT, QPST is uh, open at the same time, and it can't be. So after I close QPST down, it actually detects. I'm actually trying to 
type up the tutorial as I'm making the video. So I'm sorry if I leave parts out in the video, but it should all be covered in the tutorial. I'll probably rewatch the video and type it out again. So you can go step by step. And of course, it's not going to give us our data usage because it's trying to connect to Verizon's website there. That's also a good indicator that you're connected to Cricket. That's my normal job that I probably should be doing right now. I think it was being all crazy because that's the uh, screenshot software. You can see we're connected to Cricket Communications. For some reason, it thinks we're in South Texas, but we're actually closer to Austin. Ping time, not bad. It's morning around 7 o'clock. Um, the signal really isn't that good inside my house. I'm always on uh, Wi-Fi. If you check out some of the uh, network coverage maps, network coverage in my area really isn't that good. I think we're on a hilltop and we're just a little bit above a lot of the antennas around here. Probably the adjacent uh, houses block out the signal a lot. But like I said, go to www.mycricketforum.com. Please become a member. If you like what we do, become a supporting member. There's additional benefits to becoming a, uh, when you become a supporting member. Uh, if you can't afford to do that, you know, click on some of the banners. Check out some of the, uh, the banner links we've got on there. That will help us out. And just participate. You know, throw in your two cents when you can. Thanks a lot.